Right, everybody. Thanks for dropping by. Today we got a Sir Tommy sleeping bag. Another sleeping bag. I think this is uh, the fourth one I've done. I've got uh, probably another four or five more to do. Somehow, some way, I ended up with a bunch of these things. Uh, this one goes to one of my granddaughters. Uh, but I've ended up with a whole bunch of these things. And uh, you know, I've, the more I get, the more the barrier I guess it is. Uh, the information get, comes out to you people. Um, from somebody who is not the salesman trying to sell you on something that you don't need. Um, but uh, got another one here anyhow. On this one here we got a little conflict as to uh, what it is on the uh, website on Amazon. One of the uh, pictures over there indicate that this is a uh, four season sleeping bag and that it uh, is for 32 to 77 degrees. Uh, that I could believe, the 32 being the very low survival range. Uh, but a little hot for 77 because this is a very warm bag. Uh, on another port picture they have, uh, they've got it to 20 degrees to uh, 62 degrees. I don't think this is going to get you to 20, to 20, or rather to 20 degrees, 20 to 62. I don't think it's going to get you down to 20 degrees. I, I wouldn't try it. Um, you know, some of you guys might be able to make it uh, with some help. Yeah, maybe, but by itself, I'd, I'd see not. Then the main page, as you're going into to, to, to look at the item, it calls it a three-season bag. So what is it? But you know, we all know that they make all these statements on those on those uh, sites that uh, mean nothing. They're all meaningless. We have to find out for ourselves exactly what they're going to do. Um, and uh, this one here is warm, very warm, uh, warmer than uh, a lot of sleeping bags that uh, um, that I've purchased that look just like it. Um, Anyhow, I'm going to take take it out back here. We'll have uh, I'll set it up for you, give you the measurements on it, give you a little look at the thing, and then I'm going to hang it on a on a hammock. Now, sleep putting this in a tent. I mean, I could set a tent up, and it wouldn't really do any good. We all know what a sleeping bag in a tent looks like. Um, but not everybody knows what some of the things you can do with one of these things on a hammock. This thing here will actually allow the hammock to go inside it. So you'll surround the entire hammock and yourself with it. Not a bad little thing to have. Uh, we're all looking to buy those expensive under quilts, and even the inexpensive ones under, under quilts and under blankets cost more than this thing here does. And this gives you that, and it gives you a sleeping bag or a, a cover on the top of it. Um, but uh, let's, get, let's get outside with this thing. Let's get it apart. Let's show you what we go, what it looks like, and then we'll go from there. Okay, I've got this thing laid out out in the backyard where it's nice and sunny. This thing here <clears throat> measures out just shy of 30 inches across. The specs call for 30, it's like 29 and a half inches. It is from from toe to here is 72 inches, an additional 12 inches here, give us 84 inches total. It is zippered down the side here, all the way. The zipper stops and separates here. Then it un unzips here with a second zipper. So here you can vent it down here at the bottom. If you're sitting in the in the hammock on a cold evening, you're sitting outside, maybe around a fire area or something, just you know, talking with everybody, having fun, you can have this on. Put your feet through here, walk around in this thing, and stay nice and warm while everybody else is trying to stay warm with a blanket wrapped around them. It has a bolster inside here. Bolster runs the full length of the zipper, both the side and the bottom. Also has two bolsters inside here. As you can see. And these bolsters here inside have a drawstring right here. Pull this thing tight, keeps the air, hot air from coming out and the cold air from coming in on you. Has a nice pocket here to put things in. Held with a Velcro and the Velcro is actually hidden down inside here. I've seen some of these where the Velcro kind of sticks out and it kind of chafes against your body. Not not uh, anything that's real comfortable. Another drawstring here to pull the, the perimeter of the opening closed. And then when the zipper is all the way up, you can put this over and it covers the zipper up, keeps it from uh, getting filed in anything. Not a bad. Uh, not a bad uh, sleeping bag. It says it's about four inches thick. I don't really think it's that thick, but uh, it hasn't had a chance to totally fluff up here. Um, it's been packed away, but it is fairly heavy. I mean, this is 
this is double or triple the the, the insulation that I've had get, had in some of the other sleeping bags that were identical to this. One thing that I did notice with all of this stuff that they thought about, with all this stuff they thought about, with all this kind of stuff here, see these quilting lines here? They're mirrored on the inside, meaning you get thousands and thousands of little holes where air could it could infiltrate the area. You know, makes you wonder. I mean, they did all this wonderful work on it to keep the air out. Somebody didn't know about that. That's either an engineering problem or just somebody just trying to cut corners. But you know, this thing is only a 30, I think a $37, something like that. It's not a very expensive uh, item and uh, it's well worth it. Now I've stayed in this thing out in the back here hung on a hammock which is right over there and I will show you a picture of this thing on that hammock in a few minutes. But I've uh, stayed in a, this thing in the in a hammock and got it down to the mid to low 40s. And I'm here to tell you, I was uh, sweating. It was a little bit hot. I had, a, I had to open and vent it a lot because it, uh, it is that warm. If you're in the hammocks, this is where this thing can really shine. Notice, if you run the hammock down inside, sleeping bag. Took the excess and just tied this bottom side up. Now what you've got is basically an underquilt underneath your hammock. You get the top portion of your thick top quilt all in one. Basically, we call that a uh, pod. And it's so easy because all, you, all you're doing is unzipping this bottom zipper. And you just zip the zip up. As you can see inside there, sleep in the, ha sleep in the hammock down in there. And of course when you get in it, this portion will lift up and that's going to pull up a little tight up underneath you. It won't be fully snug because you don't want to be fully snug. But this is where your insulation underneath you is going to come in real handy. Not a bad setup for this thing and for an inexpensive price like this. Well, there you have it. Um, I hope the information was good enough for you. Uh, one of the things I didn't say earlier is that this thing weighs in at, I think it's at 3.8 pounds and it is heavy. It does not compress down a lot more than this. It does have a compression sack on it. Um, and the, the straps go all the way around. But you know, I was trying to put the hand, the uh, this, the uh, bag back in this the other day, and uh, when I did, I heard what sounded like uh, some of the threads on this this thing starting to break loose. Um, looking it over, I don't see where any of the where any of the threads cut loose. But keep that in mind the first few times that you you folks, if you purchase one of these, when you're going to push this put the thing in there. Um, again, it's you know it's not gonna it's not gonna collapse much if you're a hiker, so if you don't want this thing. But it, 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 does, uh, it does keep you warm. This particular one is a right-handed zip. And one of the other things I didn't mention earlier was that they can be zipped together. You can zip two of these together side by side. But it's not going to be a lot of room. I mean, you've got to be, you've got to be really tight with that person next to you. Um, and it's, uh, it's not going to be a lot of room. Although if you have two young children or something, you put them together like that, that would be fine. They, they'll fit in there. But full-size adults, I don't think two of them are going to be very comfortable in there. So it's just not going to work very well. Now, the, the way you get this, the, the, the left is the green ones are right, and then they have a number of colors. I think like a half a dozen colors. Those colors, when you go look at the site, it will tell you at the site whether it's a left or right hand zip. I think it was a dark blue that was a left hand zip, and I saw a picture of the two of these together. Um, so you can't get two green ones at this point in time. You can't get two green ones with the zips left and right, uh, unfortunately. I do have some other hammocks, or hammocks, uh, hammocks on the brain. Uh, a couple other sleeping bags just like these that have less, that are, have less insulation in them, but they are left and right handed zip, uh, and they do zip together. So these guys may eventually come out with that, but who knows. Um, it's a $37.90 item, well worth that price. Um, would I go out and use it for that? Buy it for that? Probably not, because I have another uh, sleeping bag I'm going to be showing you soon that uh, I picked up for, it's an 80 or $90 sleep, sleeping bag, and it seems like every year it's on sale for about $25, $30. They're trying to get rid of it. 
to clear clear out their stock on them. Um, and they're, they're mummy bags, and they don't have the bottom zip like this has. So if you want one for a hammock to put around it, then this, this would be good. This I would buy this one. Uh, probably over any of the others I've already tested, and a couple that I'm going to be testing, I still would have chosen this one over it, just because of the fact that it's very, very hot. It's very, very warm inside. Um, but uh, what I'm going to do is at the end of this, I'm going to take three pictures and put them up following the, the, the verbal portion of this, uh, this video. And you can see what I was talking earlier about the three different readings, where the uh, four seasons, the three seasons, the temperatures and all that kind of stuff. You can see the confusion that's there. So don't trust the, the website. Uh, don't trust me either. <laughs> These things are available on Amazon. You get one, you don't like it, you send it back. You've got a window of opportunity to check it out and try it out. But if you want an inexpensive bag that's under, well under $50, that's going to keep you good and warm when you want to be warm, this, is, this could be an option for you. Um, if you're looking for a bag that's uh, um, not real hot, it's a summer bag, this might just be a little bit much for you. And they do have some others that look identical to this, that, and I've already done, uh, done, done one, and I've got a few others that I'll be showing you. But they, they are more of a, a light weather, you know, warm weather bag over these. So keep that in mind. You want one that's going to go into the real, real heat of the time, the others will be better. This one here would be, be a nice one if, you wanna, if you're going to use it for uh, some real hot weather, real cold weather, rather. Um, again, though, if you're looking for a sleeping bag and you don't, don't have a problem with the mummy bag, the one I will be showing a video on soon is a mummy bag. And uh, it's, uh, it's very, very warm. It's my go-to bag. And I can't believe that they, they come up for sale all the time in the $20-some dollar range. Uh, it's right about now, which is, uh, we're looking at... Uh, uh, March or May rather, we're in May right now, May, June, July, as it starts getting really warm out. We'll see those things at Sears. Uh, they're also available at Walmart and they're also they're on, on Amazon, although I've never seen the Amazon price go down quite that low. The ones I got, I bought one at Walmart and then a year later I bought my wife one at Sears. So, um, and they're, they're wonderful bags. Stay tuned for that one. But in the meantime, this is not a bad setup. I want to say thanks for coming by, and I hope that uh, the information I gave you is helpful. Um, any questions, feel free to just write down below and ask me what you want to ask me. If you want to talk about something else, go ahead. You want to make some suggestions or something to just uh, check into, put it down there, and I'll see what I can come up with. The good people at uh, Sir Tommy provided this one for me, and most of the other ones I've got have been provided for me. I think two of my bags I'll be reviewing I purchased. But the rest were provided. This was provided for to me. Um, is it a perfect bag? No. Is it a good bag? Probably yes. Um, but uh, I'd go for this if uh, if you want to save some money and want something inexpensively. Again, thanks for stopping by. Uh, I want to thank the good people at Stop Tsunami for providing it for me and for you folks having a chance to see it. And uh, take care of yourselves. Bye now.